K BYP in the air conditioned ham shack with a video I'll call the doublet deception. So many hams have fallen for this scam. It's ancient history. This was done back when dinosaurs roamed the earth and they would knock down our antennas. 3,000 plus contacts logged, probably 10,000 QSOs observed. And I can tell you with great certainty that when conditions are crappy like this, the stations that are not on the air are using off-center feds, end feds, screwed up verticals, and these doublets. The doublet deception is from the ancient days, 1920s and 30s, and it says that you can use a dipole, which is an antenna, and the 450 ohm twin leader ladder line, and a fake tuner in the ham shack and get an all band antenna. It is a bald faced lie. It's two lies. Number one, a doublet is not an antenna system. Number two, there is no such thing as a tuner in the ham shack except to match a mismatched transmission line to a 50 ohm transmitter. It is sheer stupidity to cause that problem in the first place and have to do that. Back in the day, 50 ohm round coax was expensive or not available. Hams had to make twin lead. Now it's cheap as water and far superior. And there's another video here as to why twin lead is horrible and proof that contrary to the myth, it's more lossy than concentric line. But myths and fables prevail because they've been around for 80 years. The doublet deception is that a dipole fed with twin lead and a tuner is an antenna system. False. And there's the core of the problem. It is not an antenna system. It is a very poor antenna, but not a system. On top of dipole, I have measured the range of R and X values associated with dipoles. Let's say the R value is 20 to 120 ohms. I have measured X values of 0 to 200 ohms, maybe more. So the total impedance, magnitude impedance at the feed point of a dipole is somewhere between an ideal 50, which all mine are, up to maybe 200 ohms, maybe a little more. In no case is a dipole, especially that's worth a crap, <clears throat> there is no case where it's 450 ohms will never happen. The definition of the antenna problem is a mismatch between the antenna and the transmission line. This twin lead stupidity is the same at the antenna as it is at the transmitter, just in reverse. The abject stupidity of putting a high characteristic line, 2 through 600 ohms, to a nominally 50 ohm antenna. It will always be a gross mismatch. A band-aid is to waste another 150 bucks on some kind of Mickey Mouse Ballin or Unin, and I've done a video exposing that myth. Total waste of time. And the deception here is that twin lead and a dipole is an antenna system when it is not. The definition of reflected power and the definition of pretty much all reflected power is a gross mismatch there, and that is guaranteed with this kludge. So that dipole is not an antenna. By dipole, what you've got is some screwed up complex impedance value at the top of the ladder line, and you've got a radiating transmission line. Inefficient. The losses can't be terribly high because the dielectric is air, but I've shown proof from a PhD level textbook, not ARL. The twin lead has higher losses than concentric line. And the problem here is that the 450 ohm line is now a vertical and it's sending off energy in Lord knows what direction. My observations on the air is that they work okay close in, a few hundred miles, but they're universally so bad they have to be used with an amplifier. And now the amplifier is looking into a screwed up match because there's no way to fix this cluster hump with a fake tuner down to the transmitter. It is impossible. The best you get is a deception by having a low reflected current. It's a good way to blow up an amplifier. When conditions are bad and there's not much DX, doublets are not working DX. 
Neither are horse fences or off-center feds or end feds or other crap. <clears throat> when they are, they're in the northeast U.S. and haven't used amplifiers. And I'm stomping Europe with a lot in these conditions on CW with my dipoles. This is abject stupidity. It needs to go. It's from the 1930s. It is because that's all they had was twin lead. And if we can't afford 50 cents a foot for coax, it's time to go be a CB radio operator and stop wasting time with antennas. So there is the history of where this disaster comes from and why it is not an antenna system and it will never, ever be properly matched. Uh, KBYP out.